，大家好，我是罗米，欢迎回来，《世纪帝国四》。那么我们的战役哦，依旧继续，对，我们的战役依旧继续 ，Let's go。England defeated the French at the Battle of Brimule. Normandy was back in King Henry's hands. But one year later, his good fortune turned to tragedy. In 1120, his son and heir William Adeline died in a shipwreck. The future of Henry the First Kingdom was in jeopardy. Henry desperately needed a new heir. With no legitimate sons left alive, he broke with tradition and chose his daughter, Matilda. Henry forced his barons to swear an oath to accept Matilda as queen. But when the king died, they broke their promise. England would not be ruled by a woman. Matilda's cousin Stephen saw his chance and claimed the throne. The crisis moved to the capital. At Westminster Abbey, Stephen was crowned king, but Matilda wanted what was hers. She was also lining up powerful supporters who would fight Stephen for her right to rule. Their conflict engulfed England in civil war. Fighting raged throughout the land. In 1141, everything focused on one of the kingdom's most strategic cities, Lincoln. Matilda's allies had commandeered the castle, but King Stephen was determined to take it back. He besieged the castle. Stalemate. As dawn broke on February the second. Everything was about to change. Matilda's half brother, Robert of Gloucester, raced to break the siege. As Robert's forces approached Lincoln, Stephen's army turned away from the castle to face them. Robert could win Matilda the crown, but only if his army could win the day.第一次林肯之战第一次所以等一下还有下一集搞不好又会第二次林肯城堡被围终于马蒂尔把皇后的部队缩在城内正等待着他同步一母兄弟格洛斯特的波普特的救援能难念啊如果要解<笑> Ah, let's go. Robert of Gloucester's forces approached Lincoln. Their task: to liberate the castle from King Stephen's siege. While behind Lincoln's walls, troops loyal to Matilda held the castle for the Empress. First, Robert's forces would stage an ambush. To prevent enemy reinforcements from joining with King Stephen's army, Yes. 
Robert's men concealed themselves in a sheltered grove and lay in wait for the enemy. Get away from the Send a man to Minowakis. It's to a sore through her Give him a Hestus. What will that be? Robert defeated the first column of Stephen's reinforcements, but he knew more were on the way. With more of Stephen's reinforcements eliminated, Robert was steadily undermining the siege. Robert's men decimated King Stephen's reinforcements and were poised to break the siege. Continuing the push towards Lincoln, Robert sent in a large company of reinforcements to aid his vanguard. To further weaken the siege, Robert would need to cut off Stephen's supplies. He targeted the nearby market town. 
Matilda's cause, a large group of knights arrived at Lincoln to bolster Robert's army. With the market town in ruins, King Stephen's supplies began to dwindle. Robert received word that Welsh troops under Matilda's banner were en route to join forces with him. But King Stephen had the roads to Lincoln heavily guarded. And the route was not without risk, even for the hardy Welshmen. Making their way to Lincoln, Matilda's Welsh allies were ambushed by the King's soldiers. Robert's men would need to aid the Welsh if they wanted their help in breaking the siege. forces on the road to Lincoln, Matilda's allied troops made for the castle to lift the siege. Robert's forces spotted a large detachment of Stephen's soldiers guarding the castle gates. If they hoped to liberate Lincoln, they would need to break the blockade and rout the army. Hold when 
Robert's forces scattered the king's army, leaving the gates to the castle unguarded. Robert's men finally united with Lincoln's garrison. They could now use the castle to strengthen their army. To, work. Every to lift the siege, they needed to destroy the enemy camps surrounding the castle. Get it to Swinkin, two folk. It killed Arita, what needeth worker? Yare to Donson worker. Harkeneth aller, stareth Uta every chan, holdeth at Onsa. It kill Habi that he buildin' anon. Fresh air and hard a Swinker. What needed work, eh? Where habeth? What needeth? Cease to hest, see they to fair and ooten every child. Where have on stead as they on at? It kill build they that one. See they to work, eh? Harken at all, eh? Yare to don some work, eh? Shh. What needeth be on? Cease to hesitate. You can't do that, man. What needeth be on done? Build them day that reet a noon. See they to work, eh? You'll then do that right to know. Hitlock has God. Rita, what for end day so ahead? Flock it. Scoutess, you ready to read, Scoutess? Read it, Uta. No! Yeah, Estes. 
Where is Shulam Wigan? It can do that. See they to work it. Get it this way, good toon folk. Toon folk, aren't he ready? Wooder is no commentator. Yarwe Shetan, ich ham verende nu. Sua se het. Nu, Tulkes, set it ya. Yet is he ready for Hestis. He shall lay the yard. Scoutess, he ready for when they see Hester. Readeth al Salmon, Scoutess. Wait, here and read this, Scoutess. Ya ready to done some work here. Matilda's forces struck hard, destroying one of King Stephen's siege camps. King Stephen's army dwindled as Matilda's forces struck down another siege camp. What 
need us, be undone. Hold your hand with us! Hold!
King's army was scattered, and those who didn't fall fled. King Stephen was spotted, shielded by his men. To end the siege, Matilda's forces needed to capture Stephen and rout his army. Matilda's men closed in and finally captured King Stephen. Matilda's forces had won the battle at Lincoln. But the fight for the crown was not over yet. Di. A counterweight trebuchet was the king of all siege engines. A catapult capable of smashing down castle walls from great distances. At Warwick Castle in England, they've built a replica, one of the largest in the world. Originating in 7th century China, by the 13th century, trebuchets had evolved into devastatingly powerful weapons. Such a simple design, but so effective. It has several key features. A pivoted arm with a weight at one end and a sling to hold the projectile at the other. To prime, the six-ton weight is raised using tread wheels. So this is one of the wheels, one of two that's attached to an axle, which would lift the counterweight, weighing six tons. It's based on muscle power alone. What's essential about launching a projectile as far as possible is making sure that this end of the arm is moving as fast as possible. So once that weight drops, it really sends this point of the arm moving at its highest velocity. This was done by positioning the pivot close to the counterweight and by launching the projectile from a sling. When released, the sling whips round, vastly increasing the launch speed. 
Trebuchets were carefully aimed, like modern guns. In order to weaken the castle walls or even breach them, you had to make sure that the projectiles hit the same spot every single time. For each projectile to follow the same trajectory, they all had to be the same weight and shape. To achieve this, masons used a gauge. Now, I'm going to load this projectile into the sling. Oh, this one must weigh about 25 kilograms, but some projectiles can get up to 150 kilograms. That's the weight of two men. Trebuchets were also used to throw burning tar, beehives, even dead bodies. Anything to cause maximum distress to the enemy. Do you hear that whoosh? It was the counterweight trebuchet's lethal combination of power and accuracy that made it the ultimate medieval siege weapon. After England...哎、欸，好，那么今天这一集就先到这吧。对啊，今天这一集就先到这边。巨型投石机，希望下一下一集下一场战役可以使用，看起来更猛了。对，当然也要有工程的时候啦。对，如果没有工程的时候，造出来也不见得有用。对 ，OK， 那今天这一集就先到这啦，谢谢大家观看。那喜欢我的影片，帮我按赞加订阅。有什么想看的游戏，可以在下方留言告诉我，我就去哦。我们就下期见，大家不不。